Hello students of class 10. Now uh, I will uh, in this video I will be explaining theorems from different chapters. First chapter is theorems related to circle. Theorems related to circle. Clear? So I am giving theorem number also. First, I will be explaining theorem 32. What is this? In theorem 32, it is told that the perpendicular drawn to a chord which is not a diameter from the center of a circle bisects the chord. That means the diagram is this. This is the circle. This is the center. This is the chord. It is not a diameter. You all of you know diameter is also a chord but it is not diameter. And if I draw a perpendicular from the cen center on this chord then it will bisect. Let O be the center and OD. Same name I am giving. OD is the perpendicular and AB is the chord. You have to prove that it is given OD, given OD is perpendicular on AB. You have to prove that AD bisects means D is the midpoint of AB. We have to prove that AD equals to <coughs> DB. Clear? We have to prove AD equals to DB. Now for this, what I will do? I will join. There is one construction that is I will join OA and O B. Then you, you are getting two triangles. One is O D A, another is O D B. So in triangles, very easy proof. In triangle O A D and O B D. What I am doing? I am trying to prove that these two triangles are congruent. Okay. Now in these two triangles. You have seen OA and OB both are radius. So from here we can write OA equals to OB. You will give reason also radial. <coughs> Plural of radius, radial. Both are radius. And it is perpendicular. OD is perpendicular on AB. That means angle ODA equals to angle ODB. Clear? And third point, in the meantime you see OA equals to OB, this is the right angle triangle. So it is hypotenuse also. So hypotenuse also are equal from two triangles. And ODA equals to OB and OD is common. Side OD is common. That is present in both the triangles. So from here, by side angle side, by side Angle, side, congruency. What we can write? We can write that these two triangles are congruent. Means triangle O, A, D is congruent to triangle O, B, D. When these two triangles are congruent, so we can tell now that corresponding sides of congruent triangles are equal. So from there we can write now AD equals to DB. These are the corresponding, you will write down this, you don't write but you have to write down. Corresponding sides of congruent triangles. Clear? So, AD equals to DB means D is the midpoint of AB. Midpoint of AB. So, D is the midpoint of AB. That means OD by 6 AB. That you have to prove. Again, I am telling the Statement, the perpendicular drawn to a chord which is not a diameter. Here OD is the perpendicular 
drawn to the chord AB. This is not a diameter. Bisects the chord. So we have proved here that OD bisects AB. Very easy. Then next one, converse of this one. That means next theorem. Theorem number 33. In theorem 33, it is told that if any straight line, Prove that if any straight line passing through the center of a circle bisects any chord which is not a diameter, then the straight line will be perpendicular on the chord. That means just reverse of previous theorem. In theorem 32, what it is given? There is a circle. O is the center. And this is the diameter. A, B. Now, this line OD bisects AB. Clear? Here just opposite of previous one. Here it is told that OD bisects AB, which is not a diameter. That means it is given AD equals to DB. Clear? What to prove? We have to prove that OD is perpendicular on AB. In previous theorem, that is in theorem number 32, it was told that OD is perpendicular on AB and you had proved AD equals to DB. Now in theorem 33, it is given, AD equals to DB, it is given. You have to prove this, OD is perpendicular on AB. Now same, we will join OA and OB is a radius. Now we will take triangles O, A, D and O, B, D. Now I will prove that these two triangles are congruent. So what to do? In this two, uh, these two triangles what we are getting? AD equals to DB given. It is given AD equals to DB. Number 2. OD is common in both the triangles. Number 3, OA equals to OB. Both are radius. Plural of this radius. So by side, side, side congruency, we can say that these two triangles are congruent. So after that we can write that triangle OAD is congruent to triangle OBD. Clear? Now when these two triangles are congruent, so we can write that corresponding angles are equal. Corresponding angles of corresponding angles of congruent triangles are equal. So after proving of congruency, we can write now angle ODA equals to angle O, D, B. Now one thing you see. This angle equals to this angle. Clear? And total is straight angle. This is 180 degree. So if this equals to that and total is 180. So each should be 90 degree. 90 plus 90, 180. Clear or not? See. This we have proved that corresponding angles of congruent triangles are equal. Clear? Now we have got. Now you see total angle is 180 degree. And these two are same or equal. So each should be 90. 90 plus 90 then 180 will come. Clear? So ODA equals to ODB. That means 90 degree we have got. So after that we can write that. That means OD is perpendicular on AB. Clear? This is the converse of theorem number 32. Now next, in next video.